Hey friends and welcome to a new series. Today we're talking about how to make the INFJ feel great. How to make the INFJ feel fantastic. So what I've found is every personality type has their own unique flow code. Now that means you can find out how to make other people feel better. And so what you want to do for the INFJ is quite simple. You want to give them space to be themselves. When you give people space to be themselves, they tend to respond by feeling more energized and feeling more motivated. Now, for the INFJ in particular, often a good way to make the INFJ feel good is to ask them why something is the way it is. INFJs are people that lead with introverted intuition and because of that they tend to enjoy thinking about why the world is the way it is. INFJs are predominantly existential and philosophical types, so they can talk and talk and talk about different theories about the universe and about philosophy and the life and why we are here. Besides that, one way INFJs feel good is by helping other people. INFJs are one of the types that intrinsically respond well to being able to support and help others. So often INFJs need to feel like they are of use to you, that they are able to help you. INFJs feel good when they are able to establish a connection between you two or between themselves and the group. So the INFJ's goal is to connect and unite people towards one vision or one idea. Now INFJs can struggle with certain things and so if an INFJ is feeling anxious or unsettled or overwhelmed, there are a set of things you can do to make the INFJ feel more calm and more centered. One is to reduce negative sensory stimuli. INFJs are highly sensitive, but not all INFJs recognize the influence of bad lighting, overwhelming sounds and noises on their energy and their mood. So an INFJ that is stressed or overwhelmed or put in intense situations will quickly become drained. So if you're able to help the INFJ manage incoming sensations and if you're able to help the INFJ have and maintain a relaxing, calm and organized environment, that's going to help the INFJ deal with stress and overwhelm. INFJs, however, don't always need things to be organized and predictable. In fact, INFJs need a dose of extroverted intuition and chaos in their life. So. INFJs often need new ideas and new impressions to make sure they don't get stuck. If INFJs don't get new ideas or new op opinions or new theories to look at, INFJs become bored. And besides that, because their mind tends to be very focused, it can run into a wall. So if you're able to help the INFJ by providing them with fuel, as in new observations, new patterns and new possibilities for the INFJ to study and think about, you will help the INFJ have a healthy dose of challenge. However, it's important to manage this challenge. INFJs that are overwhelmed by uh, too many ideas and too many possibilities will become anxious and rattled. They'll find it hard to sleep and they'll find themselves feeling stressed out and they'll find themselves wanting to escape and to avoid a situation. So, when an INFJ is put in front of new opportunities and new possibilities, they respond in excitement. But if there's too many possibilities, they'll respond with anxiety. So recognize the sweet spot here of how much the INFJ is okay with and how much they're able to handle at the time. You'll find as well that INFJs that are more developed will able, can handle more ideas and can take in more possibilities. The reason why INFJs can sometimes struggle with extroverted intuition is because it can be contradictory. INFJs struggle with ideas and sensations and observations that don't match with their theory or with their worldview. INFJs need to have a solid grasp of the world and how it works in their own head. And if the outer observations don't match up with this, then the INFJ becomes unsettled and the INFJ feels a need to escape to make sense of the chaos. Another important thing is that the INFJ doesn't run in circles around the same idea forever. INFJs can often keep things on a theoretical base, that means they'll stay in a level of abstraction. Many INFJs are prone to getting lost in their own head, thinking about things forever and ever and ever. And while INFJs enjoy introverted intuition, 
interactive intuition on its own, without anything else, will eventually become unsatisfying. INFJs need to feel like they are doing something more for the world than for just themselves. And if an INFJ is left to their own base and to their own thoughts for too long, the INFJ will feel as if they are disconnected from society and from the world around them. So the INFJ needs to feel that they are able to use their ideas and theories to help make the world a better place. So because of this, it's very important that the INFJ is able to translate their ideas to the outer world. INFJs need to make sure that their theories are properly understood and put in a real context. So the INFJ needs to have the space to explain their ideas to the outer world. And so they need friends and family members that have an interest in them and in their thoughts and in their mind and people that can help them understand themselves. It's very important for an INFJ to feel understood and related to. And so if you're able to give that to an INFJ, that's very positive. Another important thing to give an INFJ in order to make them feel better about themselves is authenticity. INFJs feel relieved when people are honest and when people are real. For an INFJ, the most important thing is that you are yourself and that you are the best version of yourself possible. So for the INFJ, it's important that you are comfortable around them, that you can open up to them, that you can talk to them. For an INFJ, if they feel that you have your walls up, or if they feel that you don't trust them, that's a big hit to their confidence because for an INFJ, one of the most important things is being a good friend, being somebody people can talk to, and being somebody that can provide support and guidance. INFJs enjoy taking the role of a supportive figure or a figure of guidance. Now, besides this, it's important to remember that INFJs will not always be able to handle everything on top of their shoulders. INFJs tend to take on too much responsibility. Being introverted and judging types, they have a strong sense of responsibility and feel a need to be important and to be dependable for other people. So for your, as a friend of an INFJ, make sure that you don't put too much pressure on the INFJ. That means don't uh, let them carry all the burden on their own, even if they volunteer to do so. Let them know that you are there to help them as well and that you can help carry the load. And so give the INFJ that room and that space to have that support. I hope this video, I hope this video will help you help INFJs feel even better about themselves. And I hope that you will have a nice day. Thank you for showing an interest in INFJs and see you all in the next video.